President-elect Donald Trump heading to the White House today as he is set to receive the same daily briefings as President Obama. Yeah, the transition already underway. So what can we expect from his first 100 days in office? Here with some predictions, political commentator Aaron McPike. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So let us know, what do you think is the number one thing that he is going to do? We know that he is meeting with uh, President Obama today. He is, but I don't think he's going to talk at length with President Obama about some of what he wants to do, even though President Obama, of course, wants to keep in place his signature achievement, which is Obamacare, as you know. But this is something that Donald Trump has talked at length about, that he wants to repeal and replace Obamacare. And that's something that Republicans in Congress have wanted for the last six years. Paul Ryan has been said, said, saying that that law is collapsing under its own weight. It was just announced last month right. that premiums will spike in 2017. This is something that he could work closely with Congress on over the first 100 days in just the way he does want to repeal and replace it. So, Aaron, one of the criticisms from his own party was that he didn't have any specifics on what, he, on what he wanted to replace it with. So hopefully we'll hear some more of that. He needs to lay that out. Also, he wanted to drain the swamp within his first 100 days. He wanted to set term limits for Congress, and he wanted to set moratoriums on people lobbying within five years after they leave a government job. Can he get that through? Some of it he can and some of it he can't. We have heard from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell who has been saying that he doesn't want to go after term limits, that elections hmm. are term limits. So that's something that Congress would have to pass and it's unlikely he would get that. But he does want to impose a hiring freeze on federal workers so that he can reduce the size of the federal government through attrition. I do think some things like that he will get through. Donald Trump obviously wants to change Washington pretty dramatically and I think some of that people do want to hear from and do want to see. Yeah, speaking of reducing, he also wants to reduce the corporate tax rate to 15% from 35%. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, I do think we're going to see some movement on corporate tax reform. This is something that the Obama administration actually wanted to get through, not with those rates exactly, but, but President Obama and Paul Ryan have talked at length about trying to get corporate tax reform uh, corporate tax reform pushed through and I do think Donald Trump will try to work with Paul Ryan on that. He wants to have actually comprehensive tax reform, but I do think that will start with corporate tax reform. All right, we got to talk about immigration. This of course is the big one. This is the thing that kicked off his campaign. We're going to build a wall and we're also going to vet those serious vetting are the words that Trump used to those people coming into the United States. But you're hearing over the past few days some Republicans saying, "Well, he'll learn when he gets in that it's not so easy and we'll just kind of take things on a case by case basis." You're going to have a lot of angry voters if that wall doesn't start getting built right away. I think that's right, but I think given the tone that we heard from Donald Trump on Tuesday night, really Wednesday morning, suggests that that may not be where he starts. Hmm. We have heard from Mitch McConnell that they do want to push border security in the way that they can, but that may not be a wall. So I don't think that's the first thing that Donald Trump will push is building that wall. They will start with, I think, some easier measures first before he can really start that in earnest. What about uh, energy, infrastructure, the, the Keystone Pipeline, all of that? Yes, exactly. Donald Trump actually put, laid this out in Gettysburg last month. He is going to go for a very serious infrastructure spending bill, but that's something that Hillary Clinton campaigned on as well. And that has resonated with a lot of American workers throughout the country. They do want to see a heavy infrastructure bill. So I think that's something that he yeah. will push. And of course, you're seeing Republicans in Washington also want to get rid of those restrictions on the Keystone Pipeline, I think mm -hmm. we'll see that move through pretty quickly. Well, even speaking to you know voters out in Western PA, of course, and voters all across this country who were fed up with the trade policies of the past 20 years, will TPP and some other big trade policies, will we see those struck down almost immediately? Certainly on TPP, Donald Trump has said that he will announce our withdrawal from that. He's also going to try to renegotiate NAFTA. That was something that he put in that address in Gettysburg as well. He certainly wants to move on trade very dramatically, very quickly. Yeah, those trade policies be really being a big part of some of the constituencies and the voters that he was able to pull in at the last minute. Aaron, 100 days, that's going to be a uh, very busy 100 days, and we're going to keep Absolutely. you busy with it. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah.